From the White House, an announcement and a beginning. President Eisenhower heralds man's most concerted effort to learn about the place where he lives. 64 nations are cooperating in the unprecedented undertaking. July 1st marks the beginning of one of the great scientific adventures of our time, the International Geophysical Year. During this period, which will actually be 18 months long, the scientists of the United States will join their efforts with those of the scientists of some 60 other nations to make the most intensive study ever undertaken of our planet. The scientists tell us that they cannot possibly anticipate all of the valuable scientific knowledge that will result from their efforts. They believe that many of the facts thus acquired will give us new understanding and new power over the forces of nature. During the geophysical year, the world's largest radio telescope will go into operation in Cheshire, England. Its 250-foot receiver of radio impulses from outer space may have 10 times the range of the optical telescope at Mount Palomar, California. British scientists say the instrument will be sensitive enough to pick up radar echoes from an airplane as far away as the moon. The giant structure is a triumph of engineering. Unlike earlier fixed radioscopes, this one is movable. 2,000 tons of moving parts can keep this listener trained on one interstellar spot as it probes the limits of space. One of the 2,500 observation posts for the gigantic study is here in Czechoslovakia. Because of their effect on the Earth, a close watch will be kept of sunspots and sunstorms. A solar flare caused magnetic storms in the Earth's outer atmosphere to get the geophysical year started. Perhaps the most sensational aspect of the survey will be the launching of Earth satellites. The first U.S. shot is not expected before next spring. The Russians have not set a date. The man-made moon will get a view like this, and then some. In this animated diagram by New York's Hayden Planetarium, the first spot of light is the path to be followed, two to three hundred miles above the Earth. The second is the launched satellite. The geophysical year begins as a massive exploration, the start of a worldwide quest that may one day lead to a new world, the moon. <laughs>